Hey everyone. In this video, we will learn how to use Python with multiple tables in the Power Query Editor. So I've got this Power BI file open here with me and I've got two tables, data one and data two. And let's say I want to manipulate the data in data one and data two using uh, Power Query, so using Python. So how do I do that in Power Query Editor? So we'll, we'll explore that. So on the Home tab, I'll click on Transform Data and what it will do is, so this is the Power BI desktop and then when I click on Transform Data, it opens the Power Query Editor for me. So you can see that these two tables are available to me, data one and data two, and it's fairly simple. It, it has date and value one, and data two has date and value two. So we'll create another table, and we will uh, do a join on these, these two. So we'll use Python script to do that. We'll use Pandas. So I'll, I'll right click here, and I'll just click New Query, and uh, Maybe I'll just skip out of it. So let me just go on the home tab. I'll hit enter data. And I'm not going to do anything. I'll just hit OK. And it creates a table for me. And you can see it just added two steps, source and change type. There's not much there. Now, on, so with this, I'll go to the transform data tab. And I'll hit run Python script. And I'm not doing much. I'm just going to hit OK. So this is step number two. And it generates this script or, you know, it says Python execute and then data set. So this is a very interesting one. So here I'm just going to call out and say Python scripting maybe. And this one is interesting. So this is where you pass the data sets that you want to manipulate. So, so for example, I'll say df1 is equal to data1. EF2 is equal to, so these two data sets are available to the Python script to manipulate. And that's all I've done. So you can see it's added a step here in Python script. Now with this, we've said, hey, we are passing data one and data two. So if you've got more tables you want to pass, you can say DF3, data three, and you can you can combine, do your ETL in Python. So, so we, we've got this, and then in this gear icon, I'll just click the gear icon and it opens the Python script. So this is where I can run the Python script and I've already got the script that I want to use. And because it's a very simple example and you can add more complexity should you wish to. So all I'm doing is I'm importing the pandas library, which I'll use to manipulate or merge the two data sets. And then I'm creating a new data frame called df3. And I'm using, so I'm doing a merge on df1 and df2 and I'm doing a left merge and I'm joining on the date field. And the value df3, value three is equal to df1 dot value into df2 dot value. So I'll hit okay now. And what it does is it runs the Python script again. So it's giving me three data sets now. So df1, df2 is what we've passed and df3. So I'm not after df1 and df2. Uh, so I'll filter it out for now. And I'll just keep df3. So you'll see it's added one more step. And now I'll just expand it. So you've got date, value one, value two, and value three. So value one is coming from data one, value two is coming from data two, and then value three is coming from what, or the calculation we put in the script. So, and I'll, I've all I've done is I've expanded this. So you, you can see now it's giving me, this is the joining field that I use. This is value one, this is value two, and this is value one into value two. So let's just go back here again. And you can see this is a value one into value two. So if I multiply it by maybe 10, you'll see value three would be automatically uh, becoming bigger. So let's just go to expanded value. And you can see now, so it's one into 10 into 10, two into 11 into 10, and so on and so forth. So essentially you can add more and more logic uh, should you wish to manipulate or Python is your tool of choice. So uh, just to recap what we did, we had two tables available to us, data one and data two. We use those two tables to manipulate and merge them using Python scripting, and we created a new table called table three. So how did we do it? On the home tab, we clicked enter data and it created a new table for us. So you'll remember two steps there, source and change type. Then we came into this Python script and here we passed on these df1 is equal to data1 and df2 is equal to data2. That's all we did. And then we clicked on the gear icon and we added our script. So you can add more ETL logic here should you wish to. And that's all we did. 
And then what it does is it gives us all, so it gives us DF1, which we passed on, DF2, which we passed on, and the new data set DF3. But because we are after the new DF3, so we call it table, I filtered it out. So you can see here that we filtered it out for DF3, and then we've expanded the values. So here you, we, you, can, you can choose to remove the name, and you can choose to keep the values that you want. Um, so uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, just to recap or just to call out what we've done, we've learned how to use Python with multiple tables which are already available in the Power Query Editor. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Uh, please do subscribe to my videos and uh, like what I'm doing. Uh, let me know if you would like me to take any specific topics. Cheers, bye.